Shadow Hack Chapter 471 Blood-Covered Chao Tian Sect The nine sage beasts rushed in front of Shuang Nu and said, Young mistress, although our strength has decreased greatly after the sage blood source was pulled out, we still have the strength for one more fight. We request you to allow us to accompany you to take our vengeance. You would only get in my way. Stay here and let me take vengeance for you. Shuang Nu didn't slow in the least and gradually disappeared from the valley. Behind her, a group of sad old sage beasts was left. After the sage blood source had been extracted from their bodies, they had fallen from the category of sage beasts and were only enormous creatures. That was the truth of it, without the ancient bloodline, their strength had fallen from the quasi deity layer to domain sage layer. But one shouldn't see it as a fall down a minor realm for the difference between the two was extremely large. If the nine sage beasts were equivalent to nine quasi-deity realm experts three months ago, then even if the nine of them joined hands now, they would only be equivalent to one battle sage. And it would be the most ordinary level one. There was no need to speak of the vast disparity between domain sage and battle sages when there was a great difference in strength even among the battle sages which could be extremely large. For instance, War God Temple's Battle God, Bladewood's Blade Ancestor, Ocean Shrine's Ocean Monarch, Ling Shuang's Master Sword Sage, and so on were nothing like the ordinary sages. They were clearly much more formidable, otherwise, how could humans have possibly suppressed the nine sage beasts into the forests and forced them to sign a secret treaty to not leave Kunlun Mountains? But now the situation was completely different. Shuang Nu had refined the sage blood source of the nine sage beasts, so she wasn't any inferior to the great battle sages in strength. The old sage beasts watched Shuang Nu leave the Kunlun Mountains. Once she took a step into the outside world, every powerhouse got a huge jolt of surprise. After three days, Holy Spirit Continent's Chao Tian Sect saw a young woman wearing training clothes and carrying a sword on his back. Once this cool and elegant woman appeared, the guard disciples guarding the door were stunned. By then, a few months had already passed since the armistice between War God Temple's faction and the other. No one had any thoughts that this cool and elegant woman who appeared extremely young could have come to find trouble for their Chao Tian sect. But the first words which came out of her mouth stunned the guard disciples of Chao Tian sect. Hand over the undying sage blood of Chao Tian bird or you will all be exterminated. This line instantly enraged the disciples of Chao Tian sect, and many of them laughed heartily. Each one of them began to look suspiciously at the young woman dressed in training clothes. What was Chao Tian bird's sage blood? That was their magnificent sex foundation. The woman was crazy. However, the next instant they began to die. No one had expected that death would descend so quickly upon them. The young woman didn't say anything more before taking out the blade on her back. With each strike, she took a life of an elite disciple of Chao Tian sect. Regardless of whoever it was, no one could resist her blade. As the black light flickered around her, the heads and bodies of people could be seen flying in different directions. What terrified disciples the most was that the blood and vitality of the dead Chao Tian sect's people were sucked in by her blade. In a short while, Several tens of elite disciples of Chao Tian sect guarding the first mountain were killed. Gradually, someone realized that the other party's strength was too formidable and far surpassed their level. Soon, the arrow used to ask the sect for help which hadn't been seen in a long time was finally shot into the sky by someone with a thunderous sound. The sight of it the entire Chao Tian sect was shaken. But even then, People didn't believe that the woman who wasn't leaking out any energy could kill the enemy with just one strike and even alarm the elders' pavilion. That was until a flux master of Chao Tian sect was obliterated by her strike. Only then the disciples grew genuinely terrified. Flux Sage Quick, call the powerhouses who have stepped into Flux Sage realm. Inform the sect master. However, how could the panicked disciples know who their Chao Tian sect was facing? Chao Tian sect's day of reckoning had finally come. Perhaps even Li Yunmiu who was in the origin world wouldn't have expected that the sect which was his mortal enemy would be turned into history before his return. Chao Tian sect's undying sage blood, where is it? 
After half a day, Chao Tian Sex eight elders and four great elders appeared together in the plaza. They surrounded Chuang Nu, but she still spoke only one question. Madam, the undying sage blood isn't in Chao Tian sect. It had been stolen by a traitor disciple long ago. The great elders of Chao Tian sect were forced to admit defeat for the first time in front of an enemy. They could see some flux sages having already fallen around the plaza, which was an iron-clad proof that they could not fight back. Flux sages also couldn't resist the strikes of the strange woman. Even when the four great elders met face to face with her, they were shaken to the core and felt that it would be hard to survive fighting her. Despair filled the faces of Chao Tian Sek's remaining disciples. It was the first time that they were seeing their remote and aloof elders whom they rarely saw admitting defeat. The person who stole it is called Li Qinghong. I request that you let our Chao Tian sect go, since the undying sage blood isn't related to our sect anymore. Seeing that Chuang Nu wasn't speaking, the chief of the great elders again lowered his head. Although the face of a domain sage was important, but this elder who was more than a hundred years old prioritized the existence of sect. A loud thud could be heard. He knelt down and began to fiercely knock his head against the ground. Thud, 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 thud. With his example, the entire upper echelon of Chao Tian sect as well as all the disciples knelt down on the ground while crying bitterly in despair. Li Qinghong? Why am I so familiar with this name? Shuang Nu tilted her head in thought. After thinking for a long while, she remembered that she was a good friend of hers according to her additional memories. Li Yun Mu, yes, this Li Yun Mu in the memories is quite outstanding. She suddenly paused and coldly asked, Who is this Li Yun Mu? When Chao Tian Sex people heard that name, one of them said, Him, it was him. Li Qinghong has become his follower so the undying sage blood is also in his Han. Thud. Before the person could finish speaking, his head went flying. Who is Li Yun Mu? Shuang Nu became increasingly more anxious. She suddenly discovered that hearing this name, fluctuations appeared in the consciousness sea which she had stabilized previously. She loathed those fluctuations. This, where was it, fast, people? Bring all the material we have related to Li Yun Mu. Bring everything, don't hide anything, the sect master of Chao Tian sect commanded in a loud voice. However, the next instant, he felt a chill down his spine. Sect master, be careful. The entire upper echelon of Chao Tian sect cried out in despair. But it was too late, the sect master of Chao Tian sect had never expected that one moment the other party would be asking about Li Yunmi while the next they would launch strike and kill him. Before his vision turned dark, the last scene that the sect master of Chao Tian sect saw was his body lying far away. But he didn't despair because he had cultivated infant soul preservation. His mortal soul immediately fled toward the nearest great elder. This is mortal soul? Such a pathetic mortal soul, die. The next instant, Shuang Nu again moved. This time, the sect master of Chao Tian sect was completely obliterated. She actually killed the sect master. We will stake our lives to kill her. Who is Li Yun Mu? Tell me. Shuang Nu was feeling increasingly more vexed. She raised her head and hissed. The next instant, sword energy spread everywhere through Chao Tian sect's main peak. Blood converged into a vast bloody mist that covered the peak. In a day, Chao Tian sect was annihilated to the last person. Not one remained alive. Once this information spread through the world, all the powers and fluxors were extremely astonished. Chapter 472 Eight Mysterious Ambushers Chao Tian sect had been exterminated. Within a day, the entire Chao Tian sect from the sect master and elders to newly entered outer disciples had all perished in battle. There were 3,600 people who had lost their lives. And the attacker was a single person. As for the cause of their deaths, each one had their throat cut by a sword and had died because of an unfamiliar sword energy. Sword Sage was called in to investigate it. After checking it out, his complexion paled. Others might not have taken note, 
but he was well aware that the attacker had actually used the Tianyu sword energy that only he possessed. Although the essence of the sword energy had undergone a terrifying transformation, its intent was still there. Who exactly was it? Who could know the sword energy which I've been perfecting my whole life? Sword Sage's brows wrinkled, but he still couldn't solve this puzzle. It has to be known that he'd had seven personal disciples in his life. The first four had perished in the sixth dimension while two others were still bitterly cultivating in Sword Sect to attack the boundary of Domain Sage. As for the last, newest disciple, she had been the ache of his heart for the past two years. He could not forget her. Ling Shuang was his youngest disciple, and also one whom he had loved most dearly. It could be said that Sword Sage treated Ling Shuang as his own daughter. But she had mysteriously fallen in the dragon mist of the Black Dragon Island, unable to pass the brutal elimination round for descending. When Sword Sage was given this information, he almost couldn't believe it. With her talent and wit, she had been quite formidable. On top of that, Sword Sage had prepared many trump cards for her, so according to logic, she shouldn't have fallen within the dragon mist. Only if some formidable descenders banded together could she have lost. Because of that, after the continental battle, Sword Sage had gone into seclusion on Tianyu Mountain and didn't bother with worldly matters. What happened to Ling Shuang, her going missing on Black Dragon Island, resulted in a bit of resentment in his heart toward all the transcending powers. Now, after two years, he had been requested to leave the mountains by the other quasi deities for the first time. It's my sect's Tianyu sword intent, but the power used isn't the sword energy of my sect, Sword Sage said after a long time under the gazes of the many quasi deities who had rushed over to Chao Tian sect. Everyone was startled upon hearing it. Could it be one of your four disciples who died long ago? Barbarian King Coiling Tiger politely asked with cautiousness. Impossible. Even if they deaths hadn't been real, even if the checks had been faked, none of them had the aptitude. It would be impossible for them to exterminate Chao Tian sect by themselves. Sword Sage vetoed the suggestion on the spot. He was extremely clear about the perception and talents of his four dead disciples. Even if many years had passed, they still wouldn't have the strength to slaughter Chao Tian sect in its entirety with one blade. After all, Chao Tian sect had eight elders and four great elders. This was eight ordinary flux sages and four domain sages with sect protection spell formation and many other trump cards. Even a quasi deity would find it difficult to defeat this level of power, let alone killing every person in the sect. There were no more than ten people in the whole world who could accomplish such a thing. Among those who could, each one was a name like Battle God, Blade Sage, Ocean Monarch, Barbarian Emperor, and finally Sword Sage himself. There might be couple more people, like the Pope of Divine Religion as well as Frontline God who appeared to be united after the armistice but were still divided at heart. Soon, those two also rushed to the scene. In reality, Chao Tian sect was a power under the control of Divine Religion, so it was technically the Pope's territory and they should have been the first ones at the scene. Instantly, the gazes of the others fell on the newcomers. Pope hadn't come personally, but one of the four archbishops showed up in his place. He then asked, Chao Tian sect is the most efficient power under the control of our Pope. What's the meaning of this? This archbishop possessed the qualifications to represent the divine religion in asking this question because he was the only one of the four who had entered quasi deity realm. I would like to know why although this is a matter of divine religion, you people were the last to arrive on the scene. At this instant, there were more than ten quasi deities present on the scene. Although Blade Sage, Barbarian Emperor, and Ocean Monarch hadn't come personally, they had dispatched people to represent them. Two blade sages, three barbarian kings, and one ocean emperor stood around. However, the Pope's people who were closest to the scene hadn't sent anyone till the very last moment, so everyone felt extremely suspicious. Finally, frontline god chose to reveal something after remaining silent for a while. Truth be told, while rushing here we ran into some trouble. Trouble. Once the crowd heard it, a few were incredibly astonished, but others began to sneer. 
After all, apart from the people present here, who in the world could make the Archbishop and Frontline God feel troubled? Frontline God is speaking the truth. We had received a summon for help from Chow Tien sect earlier, but when we were halfway there, we were obstructed by eight mysterious people, the Archbishop said gloomily. He then immediately provided some proof. He pulled back his red robe, and everyone could see an injury under his ribs which definitely couldn't be considered as light. From the looks of it, he had been wounded recently. At that instant, everyone felt that the matter had become even more serious than before. Even if Archbishop had just entered the Quasi Deity realm and was one of the weakest Quasi Deities, it was no small matter. A Quasi Deity wouldn't fabricate this sort of matter, and Frontline God had also been one of the people ambushed. Eight mysterious people? Everyone felt an unfathomable fear toward them. A faint chill ran down their backs as they thought of the unknown concealed power existing on Earth. What sort of characteristics did those eight people possess? What sort of power did they use? Battle God coldly asked. Unknown. Their presence was completely concealed, so it was very difficult to differentiate. But they were all domain sages, near the level of battle sages. I even felt like for some reason they were concealing much of their strength, Frontline God said after a moment. Although he wasn't in the league with Battle God or Ocean Monarch in terms of strength, he was still a leader of a transcending power. His strength could not be considered as the highest among the people present, but he was much stronger than the Archbishop who had just entered the Quasi Deity Lair. Domain sages who could stop him couldn't be ordinary, and they had even concealed their strength. Everyone was extremely suspicious of this suddenly appeared power. Soon though, they also felt a hint of crisis. Chapter 473 The Halo of the Sword Here No one even considered that the eight mysterious attackers could be the eight sage beasts. It didn't make sense, after all. If they had been the ambushers, what need would have there been for all eight of them to attack? Just three would have been enough to make frontline god retreat. But how could they know that the strength of the sage beasts wasn't the same as before? Although their realm hadn't fallen, their strength was only a shadow of what they could call upon before. Because of this, frontline god had misjudged them and thought that the enemy was still saving its strength. Who exactly was this killer? Which hidden faction do they belong to? But I think we should shelve this question for the time being. I'm more concerned about whether their appearance has some relation to the malicious energy which had showed up not long. Battle Sage Vega was a low-key existence among the Quasi deities, but although she was young and silent most of the time, no one dared to neglect her existence. The reason for it was very simple. It was because she was the defender goddess of the central continent. Moreover, everyone could faintly sense that she was very mysterious. The words she said startled everyone. They should be related to that terrifying malicious energy which appeared a few months ago. We should start preparing. Soon, the Quasi deities called a conference of flux sages from all six continents. Both the news of this conference and of Chow Tien sex annihilation were concealed based on general agreement. Not only ordinary fluxers, but even some clans and powers didn't know anything about these matters. The minimum qualifications required to enter the conference was the cultivation of domain sage level. This threshold was so high that not even all flux sages knew what would be discussed in the conference. But one thing was definite, and it was that the sage conference would definitely influence Earth's future. After several days, Shuang Nu had already entered higher dimensional continent and was heading toward her second target, but an old sage beast intercepted her. Young mistress, the matter of vengeance needs to be delayed for the time being. Master has commanded that we cannot reveal ourselves for the time being in order for Kunlun Mountains to remain in the shadow. With this, higher dimensional continents Buladin clan had a fortunate escape from a calamity they didn't even know was on their doorstep. Not once had Buladin clan thought that could be the second target since unlike Chow Tien sect, they weren't high profile and conspicuous. They had offended many powers of Earth, so when they were suddenly exterminated, no one even considered that it could be because of Chow Tien Bird's undying bloodline. After all, 
everyone knew that the undying sage blood had been stolen by a traitor disciple long ago. If Lu Buladin had been informed about this in the origin world, he would have thanked the heavens from the bottom of his heart. At the very least, his clansmen were safe. After a few days, Shuang Nu returned to Kunlun. The original plan needs to shelved. Now I want you to go to the seventh dimension with others and conquer the remnants of the various Bizar races there. We shall make our base there from which we'll wage our fight against the Quasi deities. Barbarian Niu gave the second command to Shuang Nu with a calm and collected expression. Seventh dimension was the most mysterious and highest dimension in Earth. Only those who had reached Flux Sage Realm could enter it. But the abyss of seventh dimension was considered as a forbidden region even for them. The place where most domain sages had perished was precisely that one. And Barbarian Niu had chosen to march straight into that region. Because of his foiled plans, Barbarian Niu, who was actually God Undercurrent, had decided to yield for the time being. It was something he had to do even if he was an ancient god. From this, it could be clearly seen that he was a terrifying existence. Shuang Nu and the nine old sage beasts as well as the other sage beasts of Kunlun Mountains were the only forces under this control. But they were very weak compared to the quasi deities of Earth. Yet he knew that there were bizarre creatures from the origin world in the sixth and seventh dimensions which were humans from different clans. Because the world punishment would have erased them from existence, they had escaped to the abyss of the seventh dimension. They didn't hesitate to produce descendants with the local dimensional monsters and had concealed their origin to the point that no one could recognize them. After a long time, they were even classified as humanoid monsters. Since God Undercurrent had awakened, it meant that it was time to awaken the origin memories of those bizarre people. He would remind those half-human monsters that they weren't monsters, but humans possessing the highest level of intelligence. Master, if we all proceed to the seventh dimension, what about your safety? The chief of elder of the sage beasts was an armadillaman. Humans called it a mountain sage beast, or simply mountain sage. After the dimensional shooting star fell on earth and the first batch of beasts evolved, he had become the most formidable existence among the evolved monsters. But soon, Fluxers appeared among humans. A human hero led his people to completely eliminate the monsters with flux energy and weapons from the Dark Ages. At that time, God Undercurrent had descended and bestowed him with the bloodline of a giant beast from the Middle Continent. They had also entered a master-servant contract. With this opportunity, its fate changed from annihilation to becoming one of the twelve sage beasts with an ancient bloodline. The experiences of the other ancient bloodline sage beasts were actually similar. They were all graced with kindness by God Undercurrent. Because of that, even if they hadn't been bound by a contract, they would have still served him as faithful servants. When the nine elder sage beasts looked at God Undercurrent now, they knew that he wasn't too strong. Although he had seized the body of Barbarian Neo nourished by divine blood and his cultivation was quickly increasing, his strength was stuck at Flux Master level because of the innate limitation of his body. If everyone went to the seventh dimension and the Quasi deities discovered God Undercurrent hiding in the Kunlun Mountains, it would be an absolute catastrophe. Don't worry, there's nothing to be afraid of. This god won't die so easily. Even if they found my hiding place by chance and killed me, I could seize another body in a few days. You all shall go. This is an order, go and properly assist Chuang Nu. She is my only hope for returning to Middle Continent. With a wave of the hand, God Undercurrent's silhouette gradually faded into the surrounding darkness. He didn't give them any opportunity to persuade him. Even if God Undercurrent had fallen to Flux Master level, he still possessed many unfathomable techniques. Let's go. How can we enter the seventh dimension? Shuang Nu asked with an expressionless face. She paused then before speaking once more. Do any of you know a person named Li Yun Mu? Li Yun Mu? Haven't heard of this name. But if he's a new rising star among the humans, it's not something we'd know. We haven't been in contact with the human society for a long time. Young mistress, did something happen? 
Mountain Sage suspiciously looked at the newly adopted daughter of their master. According to his previous conversations with her, her heart had turned dark and she didn't care about any unrelated matters. So why was she so anxious to learn about a human? Nothing, I want to kill this person. The majority of Shuang News Consciousness Sea was submerged in darkness, but in the very center, there was weak but firmly resisting halo of her sword heart. Its flickering light was the only part of her which was still resisting. Within the halo, there were figures of two people. One was an old man holding a sword while the other one was the person whom she had inquired about Li Yun Mu. Chapter 474 Bitter Cultivation From the fifth day onwards, the elder of the Origin God sect had requested that Li Yun Mu go into seclusion. This request was compulsory in nature. His aim definitely had something to do with the exact geographical position of where they were going. Clearly, the sect protected its location with extreme strictness. To do a test, Li Yunmu had once commanded the system to secretly scan the direction and movement of the Skiotian ship. However, the system quickly informed him that its scan and monitoring had been blocked by a layer of restrictions. In other words, the system couldn't scan anything from within the Skiotian ship. The entire ship was like a shielded prison. Nothing outside could be sensed from the inside. Li Yunmu was unwilling to give up and secretly sent out one shadow. However, when it was prepared to sneak out of the room, it informed him that they could sense a formless perception energy surrounding the room. As long as any living organism, regardless of its shape or form, passed through the formless layer of perception energy, the origin god sex elder would definitely be alerted. With this, Li Yunmu finally accepted his defeat. At this instant, he once more realized the prowess of a second-tier sect, not to mention this origin god sect which was even more mysterious than any normal sect. It couldn't be denied that given the stealthy nature and ability to conceal themselves, his shadows could pass through most people. Even Sage Layer Flux experts' formidable perception would find it extremely difficult to sense their existence. However, someone from the second-tier sect had set up a formation that could detect them. Li Yunmi racked his brains, but he still couldn't think of any method to discover the geographical location of the origin god sect. After he was forced to admit that, he obediently stayed in his part of the ship and calmed his heart before beginning to cultivate again. He had obtained 30,000 contribution points from the inner sect competition in Profound South Sect, but this wealth had already disappeared. Li Yunmu had used the entire sum to purchase flux binding pills. With such a large batch, he could finally cultivate the remaining 17 flux points. Eighth Guardian Heavenly Point located at the lower left of the navel is one of the major flux points. After calming down his mind, Li Yunmu quickly found himself absorbed in cultivation. All the remaining flux points were in his chest, and the eight guardian points were formed of eight points. They were like a satellite to the star which revolved around the major point in the chest sea. At that moment, Li Yunmu was cultivating one of the eight guardian points. Worth noting was the fact that the chest sea major point he was working on was near one of the three flux points which the third tier powers lacked. That is to say, even if Li Yunmu perfectly opened all the eight guardian points in the chest, he would lack the major point that served as the core. If that wasn't enough, once he learned more about it, he found out that even without one of the three final major points, a person would never be able to step into the deity realm. The people who stood at the peak of the origin world were surprisingly so insidious that they controlled the three major points and had set up a threshold. But this wasn't important. Although Li Yunmu hadn't obtained the method to cultivate the three points, in his current situation, it was more important to cultivate the remaining new flux points. He took out a flux binding pill from the pile placed on the bed and clasped it in his hand. The next moment, he began to open the flux point. First pill, second pill, third pill after consuming three flux binding pills, Li Yunmu had fully opened the flux point. After consuming five more, he filled it to the brim. Once he finished with that, he slowly opened his eyes and felt an ache in his heart. 
he hadn't expected that the amount of flux binding pills he would require now would far surpass the amount he'd required to open the flux points in his arms and legs. The additional consumption shocked him. It was no wonder that the flux experts of the origin world needed several decades just to break through to great flux expert realm without the support of financial means. Most of the time, they just absorbed the flux energy in the air and accumulated it for a long time before attacking the flux point. This method of relying on accumulated flux points required quite a lot of time. The other route was a shortcut which Li Yunmu had been walking from the start. It would require only 5-8 years to break through to the next realm, but anyone following it would need a large amount of contribution points which could be earned by completing missions of the sect or hunting various beasts and selling them. One could also gather heavenly treasures in the wilderness or engage in other professions. In the end, money makes everything easier this sentence was as fitting here as anywhere else. Li Yunmu had heard on Blue Moon Island that a large clan of a region could only provide a direct descendant with resources for their cultivation. With an enormous territory on which more than a hundred thousand people resided, they could barely support two or three people cultivating to great flux expert realm. Previously, he hadn't believed this, but now he was convinced of the truth. The price of a flux binding pill was an astronomical one for ordinary people. One flux binding pill cost 300 contribution points. When converted to life points, it was 30,000. If they were once more converted to the silver sand coins used by ordinary people, the number would be 3 million. The living cost of a family of five in the origin world was around 1,000 silver sand coins per month. In other words, one flux binding pill's price was enough to support a family of five for 250 years or roughly three generations. It was outrageous. Yes, it was outrageous to the extent that of the countless people of the origin world, there were few cultivators from the lowest two classes. It was no wonder then that every disciple occupying one of the first ten rooms in Blue Moon Sect wished to purchase an official position with contribution points. After all, if they could become a hall master of an island, they would obtain one-third of the revenue from that island. Clearly, it was just another method of the sect for the powerful disciples to earn contribution points. Chapter 475 World Ancestor But even if the population of a subsidiary island of Blue Moon Island was 50,000 people, this method of accumulating wealth was too slow. When thinking about it, Li Yunmu felt even more fortunate than before that he possessed the system as well as the refining pagoda which allowed him to refine power grain. Otherwise, how could he even hope for cultivating the remaining 36 flux points in a short time? The 36 flux points which the fluxers of Earth lacked were, of course, the most important flux points according to the origin world. When contrasting the two cultivation systems, a new thought emerged in Li Yunmu's mind. He wondered if the cultivation of Earth had been deliberately passed on by someone who had descended from the origin world but they had only taught the natives the simplest 72 flux points. Then, because of the innate restriction of the human body as well as the simplified cultivation, the cultivation system of Earth had become a watered-down version of the flux energy cultivation in the origin world. This was where the vast difference between the strength of fluxers and flux experts originated. Second flux point of the eight guardian flux points. Li Yunmiu quickly calmed down his messy thoughts. After more than half an hour, he began to attack the threshold of a second guardian point. As time went by, he continued to slowly cultivate in his room on the ship. Fortunately, Origin God Sex Oceanski ship had all facilities. Every disciple's room had all one might possibly need. Like that, Li Yunmu slowly forgot about time, about himself, and any distracting thoughts. While flying, he entered a meditative state. He stayed like that for an unknown amount of time, until he felt the whole ship tremble slightly. It awakened him from his meditative state. When he checked his batch of flux binding pills, he found only seven remaining. By then, he had finished cultivating the eight major guardian points in the chest. But he could only cultivate three of the additional eight minor guardian flux points and still needed to work on the other five. In other words, he needed to cultivate nine more flux points, 
if he included the three main ones, to open all 108. After checking his cultivation speed, Li Yunmu's spirit was shaken. He only lacked cultivating six flux points before his cultivation would reach 105. It was where the majority of cultivators stopped. As for the final three main flux points, he didn't think much about them. After all, he hadn't obtained them for the moment. System, check my strength. Congratulations host, your flux energy is now 280, while your physical strength has reached 130 oxen the system said in a slightly higher pitched voice than normal. What? Li Yunmu thought that he had heard wrong. 280? Impossible. It has to be known that the upper limit of flux energy strength for flux experts was 180. Yet he had surpassed the norm by such a large amount. Li Yunmu's previous flux energy was only 192. Although it had already broken through the normal upper limit, it had swelled by a staggering 88 points after cultivating the 11 flux points in his chest. System, rescan, Li Yunmu requested. Repeat scan complete. Host, your flux energy strength is indeed 280. Only after the system confirmed its previous report did Li Yunmu believe this terrifying news. It seemed like the increase in flux energy because of opening the final 20 flux points in the chest far surpassed what he received for opening the points in the four limbs. Because of that, after this session of cultivation, his flux energy strength had increased by a lot. The important contributor to it was, of course, Meridian Nurturing Flux Point Technique. With just half a year's cultivation, his flux energy strength was already higher than the upper limit by a hundred points. And this was when he was yet to cultivate six more normal points and three core ones. What sort of magical cultivation method is this? Li Yunmiu became even more amazed by what he had in his possession. It has to be known that what he was cultivating was only a damaged cultivation method. Of the five parts, he had only two. If all five were cultivated by someone, then how terrifying would that person's flux energy strength be? Li Yunmiu didn't dare to imagine it. Right then, a voice came from outside the door. Senior brother, master has commanded you to come out. Little Yuan's melodious voice startled Li Yunmiu. It seemed that the faint shaking of the ship moments ago was because they had reached Origin God Sect. Got it. He replied to indicate that he understood and went to ask the system about how long he had been in cultivation. Only then did he become aware that 18 days had passed without his notice. More than half a month had gone by just like that. After descending to the Origin world, Li Yunmiu had discovered that on this side, several years passed in a wink during cultivation. So 18 days disappearing like they were never there could not be surprising. He carefully calculated and realized that he was now 21 years old. From the time he had started cultivating at the age of 16 and stepped on the path of becoming a fluxer, five years had passed. Cultivating the 11 flux points in the chest had consumed far more time compared to when he had cultivated the flux points in the limbs, even if he had a large supply of flux energy through flux binding pills. For cultivating one flux point, he had to spend more than one day on average. He took a deep breath and rinsed his face before tidying himself and changing to a new set of clothes. After that he walked out of his room for the first time after more than half a month. The hull of the ocean ski ship was almost as large as a normal cruise, since the ocean ski ship was 300 meters long and several tens of meters high. It had altogether five floors. Li Yunmiu's location was at the highest point, the fifth floor. He'd heard that the four floors underneath were for the servant and civilian class people who worked for the Origin God sect. They were responsible for fulfilling all the daily requirements of the disciples. The ship could be said to be a floating island. Naturally, the special treatment was exclusive to the disciples of the Origin God sect like Li Yunmiu. As for the people on the other four layers, they didn't even have the qualifications to step on the fifth floor. The seemingly large fifth floor only had 30 private rooms. Other places were reserved for other activities. The place which covered the largest area was the front deck. As long as one stood there, 
they could see all the scenery around. The route from Profound South Sect to Origin God Sect lay in the western part of Southern Mountains, but flying with the ship still required 19 days. It allowed Li Yunmu to once again experience the terrifying vastness of the Origin world. Senior brother, you finally came out. The fresh air ah, come quickly to see our sex mountain. Seeing Li Yunmu, little Bao immediately greeted him with excitement. In reality, there were only five people on the fifth floor. They were the Origin God Sex Elder, Little Yuan, Little Bao, Li Yunmu, and finally Li Ting Ting. Li Yunmu was about to reply to Little Yuan when the sight before him shook his mind. When he saw the world around him, he was so astonished that his mouth opened slightly. This is our Origin God Sex Mountain. He asked on instinct. Yes. Not long ago, we returned to our Origin God world. Senior brother, take a look, this is the most famous landmark. It has a name in the middle continent which is World Ancestor. Little Yuan raised his face and proudly introduced the sky high, enormous tree whose shadow covered everything. Li Yunmu's mind went numb, and he mumbled to himself, World Ancestor. He had never expected that the legendary World Ancestor would surprisingly conceal the Origin God sect. This sect wasn't located in the Origin world, but actually a different one. Clearly, the entrance to the Origin God sect was located in the western part of Southern Mountains. Everyone had been forbidden to come out of their rooms so that they couldn't leak the location of the entrance. Now that the Oceanski ship had entered the Origin God world, there naturally was no problem about them going outside. Origin God World, World Ancestor Li Yunmu suddenly sensed that Underworld Serpent had probably made an error in their planning. The top first-rate power probably didn't know that this so-called second-tier sect had such well-hidden secrets. Chapter 476 Weakening Origin God World Li Yunmu kept foolishly staring at that ancestor tree reaching the clouds. The enormous coconut trees which he had seen on the island dimensional space had been extremely terrifying. With their height reaching close to 10,000 meters, they had broken Li his view of the origin world long ago. However, when he saw the legendary ancestor tree, he found out that he hadn't known what was truly imposing. In truth, the ancestor tree wasn't from the origin god world. This dimensional space existed on one of its branches. That being said, World Ancestor which Li Yunmi was seeing wasn't the complete tree, but one of the countless branches. The one before him stretched through the sky of the entire Origin God world until it disappeared on the other side. Li Yunmi could clearly see many leaves which were full of vitality. Each of them was shaped like a palm. He estimated that they were more than a thousand meters long. That was really the size of just one leaf. The sea breeze whale had told Li Yunmu that if he used the juice of the leaf of World Ancestor Tree to clean his eyes, his vision could penetrate the void and all illusions. Even all the countless dimensional spaces of the origin world could be seen. If a dimensional space had the branch of World Ancestor passing through it, there would be another effect. Regardless of whatever methods or abilities the other party used, they could never find the existence that world. Suddenly, Li Yunmi was startled by a fact that the Origin God world had both of these abilities. What sort of terrifyingly fortunate place was this? On top of that, how could a second-tier sect have been able to grasp such a unique dimensional space? If Underground Serpent knew about such a thing, it would definitely be envious. Little Yuan, you mean that the entire Origin God world is under the rule of our Origin God sect? Li Yunmi asked in a low voice. He he, senior brother, have you become idiot? It's called Origin God World. If it wasn't under the control of our Origin God sect, what outside would possibly name it after us? Little Yuan came out running at that moment and heard their exchange. Instantly, her crescent-shaped eyes bent even more because of smiling. Good God! Li Yunmu took a deep breath. He was now certain that Origin God Sect had its word exclusive world which was blessed by World Ancestor. According to what he knew, there were countless different dimensional spaces in the Origin world, but those which could be called worlds weren't numerous. 
there were only a hundred six of known world spaces. But they were all under the control of first-rate or higher-level powers. Naturally, it couldn't be ruled out that some people might not have made it public even if they had a world space. But the majority of those who hadn't made it public most likely couldn't be considered as first-tier powers. This was because if they made it public, they might not be able to defend their world space with their power. That was why from the beginning, world spaces were considered to belong exclusively to first-tier powers. Apart those with this level of power, others didn't possess the ability to defend them. The island dimensional space which Li Yunmiu had encountered previously could never be compared to a world. After all, the surface area of the entire island was only several hundred square kilometers at best. That was why Li Yunmiu called it as island space instead of an island world space. The places which could be called world spaces had the surface area of more than 3,000 square kilometers. In other words, they were almost equivalent to the moon while some were even larger. A few could be equivalent to his earth. And the origin god sect possessed a world of its own. Moreover, it was also blessed by the ancestor tree. This made the situation even more complicated. Then what is the population of our origin god world? Li Yunmi was like a curious baby, asking questions without end. He wasn't the least bit reserved in this field since it was a normal reaction for anyone who had been presented with such heaven-defying information. I heard Master mention that the Origin God world has a population of more than 30 million. Perhaps the number might be a little higher, but there are people who live in the mountains that are like savages and unwilling to be governed by the Origin God sect, Little Yuan replied with seriousness. Li Yunmiu could see that both Little Yuan and Little Bao were natives of the Origin God world. More than 30 million people. After hearing this enormous number, his heart began to beat excitedly. Incomparable envy and thirst was born within him. If I could also possess such a world space, that would be so good. But there was one question in his mind, since the origin god world had a population of more than 30 million people, why did the sect insist on recruit disciples from the origin world? Regarding this, Li Yunmiu couldn't understand what was going on. With a population of 30 million, regardless of how one saw it, there would definitely be at least several thousand people who could become the disciples of the sect. When asked this, Little Yuan and Little Bao found it difficult to answer him. At this time, Liu Tingting's voice came from behind them, I know the answer. Because the origin god world had closed itself off for a long time, the innate body constitution of people here has began to degenerate. Degenerate? For a moment, Li Yunmi was astonished, then he began to size up Liu Ting Ting. He was filled with suspicion after learning about her identity. What sort of status did she possess exactly? She certainly wasn't simply the daughter of profound South Sex Master. Then what sort of unknown relation did she have with the origin god sect that she knew so much about it? These sort of thoughts formed an enormous question mark in Li Yunmiu's mind. He felt that his mission to sneak into the origin god sect had failed. He wasn't an idiot and knew that things weren't as simple as he'd thought after gaining first-hand experience of origin god sect's treasure trove. How could he not understand that the origin god sect wasn't that simple if people from underground serpent couldn't just sneak in casually? Because of that, Li Yunmiu could sense death looming over him but he didn't try to think much about the question of his safety. What made him hopeful was the fact that although the other party knew that he was a hidden chess piece, she had yet to expose him. After all, this situation was far better than him being dead. And, because of closing the world for a very long time, the origin god world couldn't access the origin flux energy of the origin world. This led to the innate constitution of people to begin weaken. There came a time when they couldn't even cross the threshold for cultivating flux energy. In many cases, the physical strength of a youth wouldn't reach even one ox. Liu Ting Ting had answered without concealing anything. Chapter 477 Yuan Bi Yao When Li Yun Mu heard the reason, he felt like a thunderbolt had fallen by his ears. How could Li Ting Ting's situation be so similar to the condition of people on earth? Each adult of the origin world, regardless of whether they were men or women, 
would at least possess a strength of three oxen. The strength of those who possessed more formidable innate constitutions might even reach ten oxen without cultivating any body-tempering secret techniques. This was the foundation of the origin world. People with exceptional constitutions like Pan Shan of Azure Dragon Isles Fisherman Village could even possess the strength of more than 30 oxen without any cultivation experience. And Lu Tingting's description of the origin god world's people was almost identical to that of Earth's natives. The only difference was that the adults of the origin god world at least had the strength of one ox. What concerned Earth's adults, speaking of one ox would be crazy. If they had even one third of that they would be on the stronger side among their peers. Clearly, the situation described by Lu Ting Ting was similar to that of Earth's inhabitants. This meant that the cause of the innate weakness came from the fact they hadn't been nurtured by the origin energy of the origin world. As for what exactly this universal origin energy was? Although Li Yun Mio didn't know, he had an idea that it was something exclusive to the origin world which made all living organisms in it more formidable from birth. Then why have you chosen to become the legacy disciple of the origin god sect? Li Yunmu asked without batting an eye. He truly couldn't understand what was so unique about Lu Ting Ting. If she didn't possess the status of profound South Sex sect master's daughter, then apart from being somewhat beautiful, she wasn't any different from other nobles. The system had scanned her strength previously, but her flux energy was roughly 70 points while her physical strength was 28 oxen. If she was placed in Blue Moon Sex 15th residential region, she would be able to occupy the 30th room at best. Among the countless third-tier sex, her strength wouldn't be enough to cause any ripples. But Li Yunmu was mistaken, greatly mistaken. The next sentence said by Lu Ting Ting after some hesitation left him completely dumbfounded, to the point that his mind stopped working. Actually I'm not Lu Zhen's daughter. I'm from the origin god world, but since I was born, I had placed in care of profound south sect. She paused for a short moment again and looked at Li Yun Mu's reaction before continuing. My true name is Yuan Bi Yao. At some point in time, little Yuan and little Bao had retired, leaving behind only Li Yunmu with a stunned expression on his face. He somewhat understood the situation now. Who said that the Origin God sect was attracting disciples from the Origin world? This wasn't attracting, but rather recalling them. Just like what had happened with Lu Ting Ting, oh wrong, she should be called Yuan Bi Yao from now on. If the Origin God sect wanted to strengthen their sect, they needed to send their people to the origin world in the infant stage and let them mature there so that they would grow strong in its environment. This would quickly solve the problem of future generations for the origin god sect. After deducing everything in one stroke, Li Yunmu immediately thought of something. Then say, profound south sect is actually part of origin god sect in secret. That's right. Profound South Sect is one of the sects managed by Origin God Sect in the Origin world. Yuan Bi Yao looked at Li Yunmu with a complicated gaze. Why are you telling me all this? Also, why recruit me? Li Yunmu's blood went cold. The more secrets he knew, the more he felt like he was losing control of his destiny. He recalled that the master of Profound South Sect had urged him to not choose Origin God Sect, but another second tier sect. Now he knew that it hadn't been because there was any problem with the Origin God sect, but had they didn't intend to recruit any outsiders from the Origin world. As for for the inner sect battles to recruit people, that was just a pretense and nothing more. But this left him with a question. If the Origin God sect was using that battle as a pretense, why did the Elder recruit him? Li Yunmu instantly looked at the woman in front of him which was probably the reason. Since you killed brother Kinjian, you are him from now on. I want you to spend your life in this world, until I get old. Yuan Bi Yao continued watching Li Yunmu with a complicated expression. I gave you a choice earlier, but you didn't hear my words. Flabbergasted, Li Yunmu couldn't help but blurt out, You're crazy. Yes, I'm crazy. I loved elder brother Ching Yang. Who asked you to make him disappear? Now you shall substitute him forever. I cannot live without him. 
Yun Bi Yao smiled faintly. Her words crushed Li Yun Mu's heart with their madness. His only thought then was about how to escape from the gigantic prison in which he now found himself. He felt unprecedented despair. He was akin to an ant which had fallen into a large lake. Regardless of how much it struggled, there was no hope of reaching the shore. The banks of the lake were so distant that he felt powerless. But he wasn't someone who would lose all hope, drowning in despair without any struggle. Regardless of whether it was the mysterious Origin God sect or the Origin God world which was like a giant prison, he didn't want to give up without trying his best. As long as the crazy woman in front of him didn't decide to kill him, he could look for a way to escape. After taking a few deep breaths with great effort, Li Yunmu suddenly said, Lin Ching Yang was Lin Ching Yang, I'm me. If you want me to continue substituting Lin Ching Yang, then I want the method to cultivate the final three core flux points. He could make out that Yun Bi Yao's position in the Origin God sect or perhaps the entire Origin God world was very high. Otherwise, how could she force the elder to recruit an outsider with just one sentence? Yuan Bi Yao thought thought for a moment, then tilted her head sideways and bluntly asked him, was that why you joined Underworld Serpent? Bang! This was an unpleasant surprise for Li Yun Mu. The final three flux points were so easy to obtain, the position of the woman before him seemed even higher than he had thought. Let's go. Wait until we reach the sect, then I will provide you with the methods to cultivate the final three flux points. For now. You need to promise me that you'll eat a meal with me. On top of that, from now on you're called Lin Kinjian and shall never use the name of Li Yunmu in front of me. After she finished speaking, she pulled Li Yunmu to the dining pavilion. At that moment, Li Yunmu was inquiring the system about the fastest way to escape from the damned origin god world. Chapter 478 The Holy Land of Cultivation the Oceanski ship kept flying through the Origin God world for more than half an hour. As they got closer to the branch of World Ancestor, they also came closer to the sect location of Origin God sect. Originally, it had been established on the branch of the Ancestor tree. It was only a very small portion which had entered this world from the outside. On closer inspection, Li Yunmi realized that it couldn't even be regarded as a branch of World Ancestor. It could only be regarded as a small twig which had altogether 408 leaves as well as a single bloom. This bloom was the only one in the origin god world. Li Yunmi recalled its countless uses, and his heartbeat became extremely fast. However, he was clear that it was completely impossible for him to come in contact with the bloom. While the Oceanski ship pulled toward the origin god sect, Yunbi Yao explained everything to him. This twig of world ancestor has 13 layers. Each of the front 10 layers possesses 30 leaves. Pay attention, what do you think of their size? Hearing Yu and Bi Yao's introduction, Li Yunmiu began to carefully observe the twig. Just as the woman had said, all of the leaves displayed a clear pattern. They were distributed into 13 layers, and each of the front 10 layers had 30 leaves each. Moreover, each of them was identical in size, without the smallest difference. How could Li Yunmiu distinguish so clearly? It was because the system had already scanned the twig and told him that the length of each leaf was 999 meters. The widest among them sported 300 meters, while the narrowest only several meters. But as for the tip of the leaves, the data clearly indicated that each and every one of them was identical. Li Yunmiu found this completely absurd. It implied that the unprecedented object before him which was as large as the world itself had been meticulously created by someone. But who under the heaven could have this sort of ability to create an ancestor tree which spanned across countless worlds? Deity? What a joke! Li Yunmi was more experienced that before and knew what power deities wielded. They were only living beings who had reached a cultivation realm when their cultivation had become extremely formidable. But they weren't omnipotent nor could create something from nothing. The lowest ten layers have three hundred leaves which are the cultivation spots of three hundred disciples of our Origin God sect. If you want to become a member of Origin God sect, you must obtain the qualifications to occupy one of the three hundred leaves. 
Moreover, you also mustn't allow others to seize it. With Yuan Bi Yao's introduction, Li Yun Miu gradually gained some understanding about the rules and regulations of the Origin God sect. What astonished him was that even thought it controlled a large world like Origin God world, it only had 300 inner disciples. There was no classification like outer or inner disciples, or even elite core disciples. As long as anyone had the strength to occupy one of the 300 leaves in the lowest 10 layers, they would become members of the Origin God sect. And presently, all the 300 leaves had a master. In other words, if Li Yunmi wanted to become the master of one of the leaves, he had to surpass one of the current masters. He made some careful inquiries about their strength, and his mind sank after hearing that answers. He hadn't expected that he couldn't compare to any of the masters of the 300 leaves because they were all great flux experts. Even the masters of the 10 leaves of the lowest first layer were great flux experts, and it had been more than half a year since they had stepped into this realm. This discovery left Li Yunmiu feeling cold from head to toe. This was the strength of a sect which Underworld Serpent had told him was a second tier sect? What a motherfu asterisk king joke which had completely fooled Li Yunmiu. 300 leaves were divided into 10 layers, which meant there were 30 leaves on each one. The higher was the tree leaf occupied by a cultivator, the higher was his strength. The fact that the cultivators occupying the first layer were all great flux experts meant that the Origin God sect didn't have any flux experts as disciples. The minimum threshold to enter the Origin God sect was to possess the cultivation of a great flux expert. No wonder that that the elder of Origin God sect had previously ignored Li Yunmiu beating up Profound South sect's most powerful disciple Ren Feng. After all, Li Yunmiu's strength was greatly lower than the minimum threshold. Regardless of how fiercely he fought, he still couldn't catch the eye of the elder. But this wasn't important. What mattered was that Yuan Bi Yao had told him that each of the ten layers corresponded to the ten ranks of Great Flux Expert Realm. Each layer represented one rank of Great Flux Expert Realm. The lowest layer was occupied by thirty people at first rank. They were Great Flux Experts with the most formidable combat strength at first rank. All of them had stabilized their positions only after facing challenges from the entire Origin God world for a long time. She told him that every three months, a competition was held in the Origin God sect. If any challenger prevailed over the opponent, they would naturally seize that person's seat. The loser would fall from the position of a member of Origin God sect and return to being one of the countless ordinary cultivators in the Origin God world. Losing didn't simply mean that the person would stop being a member of Origin God sect, but that they would also lose the benefits of being the master of one of the leaves of World Ancestor. Li Yunmiu learned that if a cultivator cultivated on the leaf of the Ancestor tree, they would obtain unimaginable benefits. They were, of course, produced by the leaves of World Ancestor. Extremely blessed by heavens. A world sitting on the twig of the Ancestor tree. After knowing more about the situation, Li Yunmiu couldn't help but sigh constantly. This Origin God sex main trump card was probably World Ancestor's twig. When their other cards were compared to it, they all lost their sheen. The second layer of leaves was the same, corresponding to Great Flux Experts of second rank. The third layer was for third rank Great Flux Experts, and so on. The tenth layer corresponded to the tenth ranked Great Flux Expert. Every layer's 30 people had to participate in the challenge competition which encompassed the entire Origin God sect to decide the losers and the victors. Naturally, it wasn't like the loser wouldn't have any chance for a comeback. After another three months, they could always fight back to their original place. Gradually, Li Yunmiu's understanding of the sect increased. Chapter 479 Yuan Bi Yao's Obs Zion In reality, the Origin God sect didn't have just 300 sect disciples, since all the people in the Origin God world were its disciples. The reason why the sect only accepted 300 people was actually because the World Ancestor Tree's twig only had 300 positions. From this, it was clear that Origin God sect's strength couldn't be estimated. Even Underworld Serpent probably wasn't much stronger than this Origin God sect. 
Now that Li Yunmi was more aware of the situation, he understood just in what huge pitfall he'd fallen in. Yuan Bi Yao had pointed out previously that the people of the Origin God sect had an innately weaker body constitution which made it difficult for them to cultivate. Yet they possessed such an enormous number of great flux experts. What was going on? Every year, the Origin God sect delivered a large number of newly born infants to the various sects in the Origin world to be nurtured. After they reached adulthood, they were recalled back to the Origin God sect. But wasn't Yuan Bi Yao in the same situation? For some reason, no. His status had to be extremely special. She was personally escorted by an elder of the Origin God sect, so how could she be ordinary? Previously, Li Yunmu hadn't known the strength of the Origin God sect, but now that he understood it, he was naturally frightened. There were 300 disciples, the weakest of which was a great flux expert, so what would be the strength of an elder? Probably an ordinary sage flux expert wouldn't be able to manage such a position. Could it be the legendary deities? The elder he'd met was surprisingly an elder-level powerhouse. Thinking about this point made Li Yunmu feel even more frightened. Then what about the leaves above the ten layers, what sort of people have the qualifications to occupy them? Li Yunmu found that there were many more tree leaves on the eleventh layer. It had 108 leaves, which far surpassed the number of leaves on each layer below it. Furthermore, the size of each leaf on the eleventh layer was greater than of those below it. After the system's careful scanning, he found out that the surface area of 105 out of the 108 leaves was thrice the size of the leaves of the first ten layers. Additionally, there were some relatively unique leaves which were ten times larger than those below them. This left him astonished and he wondered how the number of leaves could be the same as the number of flux points in a flux expert. Sure enough, his thinking was on the correct path. You should have noticed that the eleventh layer has 108 tree leaves. They represent the 108 flux points of the origin world. The eleventh layer is open to all the cultivators of the origin world who need to cultivate there. Each one of the tree leaves represent the cultivation holy land for cultivating a particular flux point. As long as you stay on the leaf corresponding to a particular flux point, you will obtain twice the effect for half the work. That's why the cultivation speed here is much faster compared to the outside world. Besides, you also don't need to worry that the flux energy you're absorbing is impure. All the flux energy here is extremely pure which saves our cultivators a lot of time required to consolidate the realm Yuan Bi Yao explained. Her words left Li Yun Mio shaken to the core. He hadn't expected that the eleventh layer contained extremely precious leaves which were like a holy land for the lowest level cultivators. Moreover, it was open to everyone in the origin god world. This included Li Yun Mio as well, right? No wonder then that Yuan Bi Yao had calmly agreed to provide him with the cultivation method for final three flux points to him. After all, they were basically open to the entire Origin God world. It also explained how the Origin God world had so many formidable great flux experts. It has to be known that after reaching the great flux expert realm, regardless of wherever one went in the Origin world, they would be considered as a high class expert. And as for sage flux experts, they were considered powerhouses in the origin world. Then what about deity level characters? Li Yunmu hadn't seen even one of those legendary beings. Then what about the twelfth layer, the bloom of the world ancestor? Li Yunmu asked. He was filled with extreme curiosity towards this soul bloom on the twig of the ancestor tree. If the eleventh layer had 108 leaves whose each leaf was larger than the leaves of the previous ten layers, then the bloom on the twelfth layer far surpassed the size of any leaf before it. The diameter of the huge Kerala was several tens of kilometers, and it covered all the tender new leaves on the twig. World Ancestors Bloom on the twelfth layer is actually the location of our sect where all the important people live. Only the people who had entered the sage realm possess the qualifications to enter there, Yuan Bi Yao told him. Then what about you? Do you possess the qualifications to reside on the twelfth layer? Li Yunmu suddenly asked. I naturally. As the words were about to slip out of Yuan Bi Yao's mouth, 
she quickly managed to take control of her mouth and realized that she was being tested by Li Yunmu. She suddenly felt that the current brother Ching Yang wasn't the least bit like brother Ching Yang from before. The previous Lin Ching Yang wasn't that cunning, and a hint of killing intent was born in the heart of Yuan Bi Yao. Li Yunmu seemed to have sensed it and indifferently smiled toward the crazy woman. How strongly was she attached to her feelings of love? Bulsh asterisk T. It was more like Yuan Bi Yao was only fond of Lin Qinjian, but she wasn't clear on her feelings and continued to get involved with him. It went so far that even after learning that he had died, she forced Li Yunmu to act in his place. All of that was only to satisfy the crazy obsession in her heart. What? Regretting now? Li Yunmu questioned while watching her attentively. No, I'm not regretting. I know you are a outsider, and I want to trap you within the Origin God world for all time. I want to see who will be the one regretting in the end, Yuan Bi Yao said while gnashing her teeth. TCH, you really are willful. Aren't you afraid about how I will treat you? Li Yunmu shrugged his shoulders and continued to add oil to the fire. Yuan Bi Yao wasn't a complete idiot and in time managed to control herself. After letting out a groan, she ignored Li Yunmu and walked away toward the large twig after stamping her feet. Along the way, no one stopped her. Seeing this scene, Li Yunmi was once again verified that the foolish woman wasn't so simple. She possessed a unique position in the Origin God world, just like Knight in the Hall clan. Regardless of whether it was Knight or Yuan Bi Yao, all of them a unique status. Otherwise, a person whose strength couldn't even raise waves in the Flux Expert realm, wouldn't have the qualifications to reside in the region where only Sage Flux Experts lived. Suddenly, Li Yunmu thought of something and remembered Yuan Bi Yao's previous words that the twig had 13 layers. Where exactly was that 13th layer? However, Yuan Bi Yao was annoyed with him and had already left. At that moment, Li Yunmu saw a group of guards climbing up the twig. But he didn't follow them. Chapter 480 Traditional Origin God World Li Yunmu didn't follow them even if with his cultivation he had the qualifications to climb to the eleventh layer and cultivate the final three sun, moon, and heaven flux points. Yuan Baio had informed him that he still needed to follow the procedures. It meant that he first had to register himself as a resident of the origin god world and obtain his identity tile. All right. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Li Yunmu decided to enter the Origin God town behind him. Seeing the ordinary folks of the Origin God world, he felt like he had traveled into his grandmother's time. The society was ruled by old traditions and the like instead of there being even any talk of science or technology. There wasn't even a single flourishing city close to modernization. The entire Origin God world only had towns and villages. The largest town was the Origin God Town located at the foot of the The Ancestor Tree's Twig. It was considered the first town under heaven. This was because the majority of the residents of this world didn't have any concept of the Origin world, not to mention infiltrating it to cultivate. Halt, who are you? Li Yunmi walked to the gate at a speed which was neither too fast nor too slow. But before he could enter, two guards yelled at him to stop. Clearly his attire which was different from the others gave rise to suspicion. This is the proof of me being allowed to enter Origin God Town. Li Yunmu didn't talk much nonsense. Instead, he observed the two guards. He could see that they were completely ordinary people. They weren't cultivators and didn't possess any formidable body constitution like the people of the Origin world. The system scanned them and found that their strength was just slightly higher than one ox. It seemed that Yuan Baio hadn't been lying to him. All the humans of the Origin God world really did have a weak constitution. Even if they were still much more formidable than the people of Earth. Yet what attracted Li Yunmu's attention was the guards' weapons and attire. They were quite similar to the soldiers in Earth that had lived in ancient times. They wore thick and heavy plate mail while an ordinary iron blade hung on their waist. There was also a red pike in their hands. There was a word Yuan engraved on their chests. It was written in a quite archaic and traditional style. 
When Li Yunmiu took out the referral letter, the guards filled with even more suspicion since they had never heard of the origin god sect recommending an outsider. But seeing Li Yunmiu's calm appearance and extraordinary temperament, they talked among themselves and finally decided to open the referral letter to take a look. They had acted high and mighty before, but once they saw the words written inside, they were scared shitless. We are sorry to have offended this lord. The leader of the guards repeatedly asked for forgiveness while breaking in cold sweat. That's not a problem. Can I now go inside? Li Yunmiu asked indifferently. Absolutely. It's no problem, definitely not a problem. Lord, we invite you. They bent from the waist, making Li Yunmiu appear like an arrogant idler. The guards cupped their hands and followed his figure into the city with irreverent gazes. No, not a city but a town. When Li Yunmiu saw this and once more took note of the Yuan character engraved on the soldiers' chests, he couldn't help making some connections. After entering the origin god town, the impression Li Yunmiu got was that it was ancient and traditional. There were no hotels or wine shops, nor any other stores. There wasn't even any open market, and he couldn't find an auction hall either. There were only a few eateries, taverns, pawn shops, banks as well the most primitive type of gambling houses. The people walking on the streets were adorning the same type of clothes sewn from sacks. Even their colors were all the same. What sort of society is this? Li Yunmiu like he had suddenly went back in time and arrived in an ancient age. After asking a few people, he discovered some extremely astonishing things. First was that the currency used here wasn't contribution points or life points used by the cultivators in the origin world. It wasn't the silver sand coins used by the ordinary people either. Instead, the people of the origin god town used copper, silver, and gold coins. Li Yunmiu found it quite inconceivable how similar the society here was to the ancient time on earth. While thinking about it, he entered a seemingly large restaurant. He took out a chunk of golds and called a waiter to bring some beef and some local appetizers. However, when the waiter saw Li Yunmiu take out the golden ingot, he didn't dare accept it. No matter how Li Yunmiu tried to convince him, he still didn't accept it. Then how should we handle this? I don't have anything else on myself. Li Yunmiu hadn't expected such a thing. He had heard that there were copper, silver, and gold coins serving as the currency of this world, but who could have known that gold was so precious in their eyes that the lower classes didn't even dare to receive it. They didn't dare to touch it, as if it was poison, let alone accept it. However, Li Yunmiu didn't have any other way to pay. Before he had descended, he had bought some gold ingots in preparation for all sorts of unexpected events. After all, the silver sand coins used by the people of the origin world were produced from the powder of the mithril obtained from the bottom of the ocean, not real silver. The gold and silver were used in the origin god world, but gold was considered as extremely noble and supreme in this world. The shopkeeper kept explaining while continuously wiping his sweat. Gold had been used in the origin god world before, but only by the imperial clan. If other people dared to use it, their action would be considered as an enormous crime for which death would be a small punishment. In serious cases, even exterminating an entire family wasn't uncommon. The people of the origin god town had their own ways to distinguish people, and they knew that Li Yunmiu didn't belong to the imperial clan, so they didn't dare to touch that gold. But they also understood that Li Yunmiu wasn't an ordinary person, so they didn't dare to voice any opinions. Li Yunmi rummaged through his storage space and found a silver sword ornament and asked, Then what about silver? Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. We don't dare to accept silver, either. It's used by cultivators and high-ranking officials alone. Could you display your status tile, the shopkeeper carefully asked. I don't have any status tile for the time being, Li Yunmi said while wrinkling his brows. Then we could consider it as this little me treating Lord to a meal. Lord needs not pay anything. Waiter, quickly bring two of the best dishes for Lord. And just like that, Li Yunmiu had his first meal in the origin god sect as a tyrant. 
After this matter, he also gained a much clearer understanding of the origin god world. Imperial clan and cultivators reign supreme here, revered by everyone. As long as one was a cultivator, they could walk through all towns and villages without care.